डिपार्टिंग थे रही है हमें स्ट्रासबर्ग स्टेशन स्टीम एंजिन maintenance yard Here you can stay inside the cabus. Now you might take a moment to examine the cars in which you're riding. Well, these cars cost about a quarter of a million dollars each to restore to their present condition, and the locomotives cost about a half a million dollars each to restore. And we spend twenty-five thousand dollars a year to keep our equipment safe and reliable. Now the stoves in these authentic cars aren't just for looks; they really work. So if you ride with us in the colder months, you'll see what a fine job they do of keeping our cars nice and warm. Then we try to restore the equipment to its original appearance at a point in time. But in all cases, we try to make it accurate. the equipment to its original appearance at a point in time, but in all cases we try to make it accurate to a period of 1910 to 1930. And we're very proud of the work we do here at Strasbourg, and it's all accomplished with funds from that ticket you purchased back at our station. Now if you were wondering about how we set the speed of our train, well it's a very simple matter. The oldest timetable we found for our line was in the Strasbourg B newspaper dated August 1852. Now we still follow that same basic schedule today. So if you ever wondered how fast Great Grandpa traveled, well, by golly, this is it—somewhere under 60 miles an hour. Well, now that would be way under 60 miles an hour. Now on the left hand side, the guy, 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 guy. building you see over there belongs to the Eskenshay Turkey Farm. 
It's the oldest commercially operated turkey farm in the United States, and that's verified by Poultry World Magazine. अमेरिकन गाय ने बोला हुए तो शू करव पड़े अपने मित्रों अपने गुजराती में गाय ने बोला हो तो ये तो अपने आवड़े पर अमेरिका में शू कहो ये खबर नहीं पड़ती आई थिंक यू हियर देट द विशल ऑफ स्टीम लोकोमेटिव This area of Lancaster County was settled in the very This is a very old train my friends. Route 741 where you came to visit us on the street was originally a Conestoga wagon trail with an about 17 men. It led from Philadelphia to the Indianapolis Carlisle just west of Harrisburg. Now today we're traveling to an area That railroad went out of business and 
Brandon Hello and S number six out there on the line while the scrappers took up the rails. And that little train rusted away and became a ghost. So we're going to listen for number six. Well, folks, what can I say? That old ghost is doing a real good job for us this evening. But you know, I thought well, what I was going to say something that I didn't think of. Well, folks, that's not an echo. You know, we pay that ghost pretty well. Twenty-seven fifty a day to sit over there and blow that whistle back to us. Now, you know nobody's ever seen that ghost, but I'll tell you, she never misses cash for a paycheck. Carpenter's Crossing is next. Carpenter's. <laughs> Carpenter's graveyard will be on the hill on the left. Is there anybody here for the graveyard? Now behind that low stone wall is buried Marie Curie. She was the French Huguenot who fled France in the early 1700s to escape religious persecution. She and her followers eventually made their way here to Pennsylvania, and they were finally oh, given a grant by William Penn two square miles right here in 1712. It was they who named their colony territory. Now, 275 years ago, Marie Marie, her followers, had the Pequot Indians were the sole inhabitants of this area. Now, this was the western edge of America's front here. Steam locomotive. And you won't see this bridge, I hope, because it is supposed to be underneath us. But you won't see what the old pumpkin bill turns like to right underneath our track. Now, folks, this is the most dangerous part of our trip today, so I ask you, please do not walk the cars on the bridge. And we find that if you would lift your feet just a little off the floor of the car, it'll take some weight off the car and some stress off that bridge. And we just might make it across one more time. So here's the pumpkin belt turn back in our bridge. No rocking. Speed up, please. All right, folks. It hoss. looks like we made it across. Now keep your fingers crossed that that bridge is still there when and if we make it back. Violent crossing is next. Pennsylvania. 